in our series called Who Needs the Old Testament, hopefully you are doing some reading um, with the, at least for the week that's coming up. And uh, if you don't have that blue sheet that gives you opportunities to read it a little bit more, there are some on the table in the back, or in the Information Event Center in the back. Please pick one of those up. Um, you will be reading more than we're talking about here, but that will give you more of a comprehensive background as far as what we'll be talking about each week. More is written about David and by David than any other character in the Old Testament. Most of us know his story. Uh, he's tending his father's sheep around Bethlehem, and, and uh, Samuel, the prophet of Israel, showed up to uh, the house of Jesse. That's David's dad. And he is to anoint the new king. He ends up anointing David. And soon after that, uh, David fights Goliath, the giant, and he defeats him and he becomes famous in Israel. And over time, uh, King Saul becomes incredibly jealous of David and, and threatens his life numerous times. So much so that, that David has to flee for his life and he wanders in the desert for years. He's separated from family and separated from friends and he's separated from his kingdom. And when it's all said and done... David seems at his best when he is in the furnace of the desert. It's there that he grows much, much closer to God. And he writes most of the Psalms there. And 